Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Finally, DeepSeek has updated their DeepSeek R1 model and the new model name is DeepSeek R1 0528 and this 0528 means uh, they published it yesterday on 28th May. So that's why 0528 and in this video, we will do the full comparison between this DeepSeek R1 new model and uh, with this Clot Sonnet 4 and we will see that which model have the best capability and also in this video I will show you that how to do the setup with this uh, client and Dipsy Guard 1 new model and there are two new provider that I will show you who are currently provided, providing this uh, Dipsy Guard 1 0528 uh, API access for free okay and also here if you go to this hugging face Currently, you will not see any of the information about this model because as it is a new model, they are updating their Hugging Face repository. So um, I, I have got some of the informations based on that. I will show you that uh, why this model can be the best model and uh, why this model can be a uh, alternative model to the O3 or O4. Okay, someone on Reddit posted that uh, it is a DeepSeek R1.1 model. Okay, this uh, DeepSeek uh, 0528 model is a R1.1 model, and it has got a best benchmark on the Ader Polygard score. And he has written that DeepSeek R1.1 score the same as Claude Opus 4. No think 70.7% on Ader Polygard, and which is actually better. Okay and uh, this old r1 was 56.9 percent but this new dipsic r1 version scores 70 percent okay and uh, you know that cloud some days ago published this cloud opus 4 and they told us that cloud opus 4 is the best model world's best ai coder till now and uh, with this no think because cloud has thinking option and no think option so with no thinking option, Cloud Opus 4, it is scoring 70% and this Dipsic R1 new model and it is actually amazing because uh, it is an open source and you can use this Dipsic new model completely free and you will get the best output also. And now let me show you one of the comparison between this Dipsic R1 0528, this new model versus this Cloud 4 Sonnet. On the left hand side it is Cloud 4 Sonnet and on the right hand side it is the Dipsig R1 0528 and you see that the result is actually amazing. Let me play this video so that you can uh, see the output. So here you see this is the output and if I play it from the first the ball is going and it is uh, giving some uh, push to the wall and after that you see it is realistically breaking the wall okay and uh, it, it is actually amazing you see that the cloud force on it and this deep seeker or new model you will not see much difference between this output right then in that case deep seeker one can be an alternative to this cloud force on it and also not only that here you see that i have some of the questions on reasoning and also some of the question for this output based question and I tested that on this Dipsic R1 0528 and this Cloud Sonnet 4. And you see that they are both are giving the same result. So the first question was this reasoning question that can a dragon live in the mountains? So we have these statements and based on this statement, uh, we, we have to conclude this question. Okay, we have to answer this question. Now uh, you see that based on this question, they both have given the answer uh, no okay here you see no our dragon cannot live in the mountains and on the right hand side we have this answer from the clot and the answer is no here you see the answer is no okay and uh, and you see that the answer is no here also means uh, i have this proper answer no our dragon cannot live in the mountains so that means both the model is giving the correct answer but one is completely free and another is the paid version okay and uh, if i test this uh, output based question so this is a javascript uh, tricky output based question this hoisting trap now what 
should be the output here you see the output should be the undefined and this is a little bit tricky question that uh, many interviewer ask in a javascript interview so if i test this tricky interview question here you see the output will be undefined for the dipsy garo new model and for the cloud also here you see the output is undefined yes output is undefined okay now the thing is that if you compare the answer between this dipsy garo 0528 and this cloud sonnet 4 uh, you will see some difference because this dipsy garo before giving any answer think for uh, 5 to 10 second for a simple question but if the question is very hard okay if the uh, question is very uh, tricky then in that case it takes some time to think this dipsy garo one model but in case of cloud sonnet 4 it doesn't give time for the thinking okay it is the difference that i have seen you also please check please go to this lmarena.ai and there you can check this two model side by side not only this cloud sonnet 4 you can uh, check with other models also like o4 mini is there google 2.5 flash is there so you can try uh, between these two models okay and you will get the idea and uh, now the thing is that how to use this model so for that i will provide you two uh, provider one is this hyperbolic another one is this open router so for using this open router i have given one link in the description you will find this page and below here you see there is a api option click on that now here click on this create api key and after that you will get this page and here click create api key give any name here click on this create and you will get one api key and go to this vs code and there install the extension client or root code whatever you are using and go to this client uh, setup and there select this api provider open router provide that api key and here just uh, write this dip seek and you will get that latest model 0528 free okay and save it and another way is to use the hyperbolic so for that go to this hyperbolic link i have given in description and make sure you make a account here you see dipsy r10528 it selected and on the right hand side scroll down below or you can click on this three dot and click on this go to api and here below you will find that api endpoint so here you see this is the endpoint just copy it and uh, just go to your vs code and in this client select this open ai compatible and here provide this endpoint here and provide your api key and where you will get this api key so for that click on this settings here you see so when you go to the settings scroll down below you will get your api key here okay and provide that here and select uh, your model id now where you will get that again go to that page copy it and paste it here okay so i hope you got the idea that how to use this dipsy r1 new model for free for open router it is completely free i will recommend you to use it with the open router but if you face any problem uh, for this open router then you can use the hyperbolic but uh, it is guaranteed that you will not face any problem with the open router okay so i hope you found this video helpful and if you found some new information from this video please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video with your friends and comment down below that uh, i have tested it on my own machine and uh, provide me your experience in the comment so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching